There are many factors in a player's game that can result in them being good or great. And most people agree that the ability to jump is important in the NBA, not just because it allows you to get height to make jump shots, but also to block shots, and of course, to dunk the basketball in an epic fashion. But we digress. Anyway, your hops can determine your role on a basketball court, and as such, many strive to have high verticals. Join us as we reveal to you the top 10 highest vertical jumps in the NBA. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Number 10. Iman Shumpert, 42 inches. While he may not be the best player in the world today, Iman Shumpert has most definitely made an impact in the league in his own way. He was drafted by the New York Knicks in 2011, and he was measured at having a 42-inch vertical, which was impressive because that was the best of the entire draft class, which automatically put him on another level. With the Knicks, he did well and showed both dunk ability and defensive prowess. Eventually, he went to the Cleveland Cavaliers and would win a championship with them in 2016, which meant that he was playing alongside none other than LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love. That's good company on the team, and the team seemed to appreciate him as well. It also should be noted that Shumpert has some stylish hair and was apparently good enough friends with Kanye to be in one of his music videos. What does that have to do with jumping? Nothing, but it's still important. If you get up that high, you've got to throw down the hammer. And that's what Shumpert did. LeBron in the post. Number 9, Victor Oladipo, 42 inches. Victor Oladipo is proof that sometimes you don't just get drafted by the right team. A former star from Indiana University, Oladipo was drafted second in his draft class, going to the Orlando Magic. He would use his 42-inch vertical leap to make quite an impression on the fan base and the NBA in general. But his skills weren't enough to make the Magic relevant again. But then, he got really lucky and was traded to the Indianapolis Pacers, where he not only exploded in terms of showing his potential, he shined. He's now a two-time NBA All-Star, and if it wasn't for a quad injury, the Pacers would have been more of a threat in the playoffs and the recent season. He's back now and eagerly awaiting alongside others to return to play, and you can bet that his vertical is going to want to get tested as he tries to help his team win. It should also be noted that he was in the 2015 dunk contest and barely lost out to Zach Levine. Was contact by Bledsoe. Fick tries to complete. Number 8. Ja Morant, 44 inches. Okay, now we're going to talk about recent history for a bit, okay? The 2019 2020 season had many rookies that people wanted to look at and watch and see how they would develop and whether they would be future All Stars. The name that everyone wants to talk about is Zion Williamson. But the name that many would eventually speak of is none other than Memphis Grizzlies player Ja Morant. Ja was indeed a highly touted draft pick. In fact, he was picked second after Zion, and he made his presence felt almost immediately with dunks and shots that wowed the crowd and Sports Center. If you don't believe us, ask Kevin Love, who found out the hard way you shouldn't be next to this kid when he dunks. This is Vince Carter over Frederick Vice, almost. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, just the, the intent, he sees him standing there. It's like, so what you're standing there? From the dotted line, look at that. Forget the end. Just start. The only sad thing about Ja was that his rookie season was interrupted because of the global lockdown. But despite his team having a current losing record, they're in the number eight spot in the playoffs in the West. What's more, he's a lock for rookie of the year, and you can thank his mad hops for part of that. Number seven, Pat Connaughton, 44 inches. We won't be surprised if you don't know this name, mainly because when you think about the Milwaukee Bucks, you think of a certain Greek freak and no one else. But Pat Connaughton is not someone to be ignored, especially since this big guy can also leap 44 inches into the air, which definitely proves that Wesley Snipes was wrong. White men can jump. I would have jumped over that brother, though. Uh, hey, listen. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I okay. saw it. I say Pat, I saw it. I Come on, like baby. Come on, Pat. Chump. As a fifth-year player, Pat has developed quite a bit of chemistry with star player Giannis, and the two are known to be very much gym rats in that they want to improve and get better, get stronger, more athletic, etc. Connaughton is a key part of the Bucks in his own right, and he even took part in the recent dunk contest and showed off his hops even more. Though, to be fair, he didn't make it to the final round. But we won't hold that against him if you don't, okay? When the Bucks make a run for the title in the returning playoffs, be sure to keep an eye out for Big Pat. 
Number six, Andrew Wiggins, 44 inches. Andrew Wiggins is another case where going to the wrong team can hurt your career and your growth. When he came to the NBA in 2015, he was the number one draft pick for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He had a lot of pressure on him to perform, especially after a picture came out showcasing his 44-inch vertical leap, which went viral in the best way possible. However, while showing a lot of talent and potential, he let the pressure get to him and thus the Timberwolves suffered. However, he may have a career resurgence as he was traded to the Golden State Warriors, who are looking to build back up their team after the loss of Durant and the injuries to Curry and Klay Thompson. According to Warriors legend Tim Hardaway Sr., he expects Wiggins will turn everything around for them. He is going to help out a lot and do a lot of things that people don't think that he's going to do, Hardaway said. That was a great trade for the Warriors because Wiggins needed to come to a team where he's third fiddle or fourth fiddle. He doesn't want to be on a team where he's one or two because that's too much pressure on him. He just wants to play basketball and have fun and have no pressure on him. We'll have to see how it works out next season. Number 5. Hamadou Diallo, 44.5 inches You may or may not know the name Hamadou Diallo, but you will respect his ability to jump high and make it look good. He's a second-year player on the Oklahoma City Thunder, and he doesn't always have a lot of playing time, but he has a 44.5-inch vertical that allows him to do some sick dunks, which he showed in the 2019 dunk contest when he jumped over freaking Shaq. Oh, and he won the contest, too. People know that this is what his offhand. Look, he was going to go right. Oh, oh my God. Oh, come on, man. Come Look on, at man. his head. Oh, man. Come on, man. Okay, see that. So clearly he can dunk and likely is a future star for OKC. Number four, Zion Williamson, 45 inches. Easily one of the most talked about rookies in the history of the game, Zion Williamson made an impression thanks to his high school games being shown on the internet. The hype he had when he went to Duke was insane and yet well deserved as he was a dominant force on the court, due in part to his 45 inch vertical that helped him dunk all over the literal country. The irony here is that he's not built to have that high of a vertical, but he trained his butt off and set the record at Duke for a vertical. Now, he's a member of the New Orleans Pelicans and is continuing to wow the crowd with his hops and his dunks. Number 3. Derek Jones Jr., 46 inches The Miami Heat are a surprising force in the NBA in the current season. That is on hiatus. One of the reasons for this is their young talent mixing well with veterans to be a showstopper. And the Heat have a major showstopper via Derek Jones Jr., who has an astounding 46 inches, which he has used to put on a literal highlight reel for people all over, including when he went to the 2020 dunk contest and won it. But there was controversy because of Heat legend Dwayne Wade. We're just saying. Either way, Jones Jr. is an epic leaper and dunker and is not to be missed. Number 2. Zach Levine, 46 inches We've already mentioned Zach Levine before, but now it's his turn to shine in the spotlight and shadow us with his 46 inches of leaping ability, which he has used to benefit many teams over his career, including the Timberwolves and the Chicago Bulls. But without a doubt, the reason that most people know Zach Levine is because of his time in the dunk contest, which he won not once, but twice. In fact, his match against Aaron Gordon is one of those said dunk contests is believed to be the literal greatest one of all time, depending on who you ask. Or at the very least, would rival the one that THE Michael Jordan was in. When you're compared to Jordan in any way, you're good. Number 1. Dennis Smith Jr., 48 inches Let's be honest here, the New York Knicks suck, well and truly. However, one bright spot on their team is Dennis Smith Jr who is not only the league leader in vertical via being able to jump 48 inches into the air, but he is the highest leaper in NBA history. Yeah, apparently no one compares to him, which is stunning. Just as stunning despite all that leaping talent, when he went to the dunk contest, he lost in the first round. Just goes to show that just because you can jump high doesn't mean that everything will come easy for you. So, what did you think? What did you think of this look at the NBA players of today who have impressive verticals? Can you believe how high some of these players can jump and how effortlessly they make it look? Which of these players do you love to watch to make an epic jump shot or a dunk? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.